Hi, my name is Meg Brooker, and I'm the Dancer Laureate for the City of Murfreesboro. Today, I'm going to share some movement techniques developed by dance artist Florence Fleming Noyes. Noyes created movement that's inspired by imagery from nature, so that's why I'm sharing these techniques with you from our beautiful Gateway Island here in Murfreesboro. So now we're going to experience Florence Fleming Noyes' caterpillar technique. This technique is about feeling the spine stacked long and tall, and it also stretches and opens the back of the body. We're practicing this technique next to this beautiful tall straight tree, and I want you to feel that you're able to reach the crown of your head up towards the sky, just like this beautiful tree, and also plant your roots deep into the earth. We're also going to feel a center line, just like the trunk of the tree. So to get started, I'll start first facing front, then I'll demonstrate sideways. You can have a base that's either with your feet underneath your hips, or you can have a more narrow base so that you feel that long center line represented by the trunk of the tree. We're going to start by letting the head as this top segment fall forward and slip off. And then we'll just start rolling down through our spines. So I'm going to demonstrate that movement facing profile. So starting with my base, feeling a long uh, crown of the head reaching towards the sky, feeling a little openness behind my knees so that I'm connected to the earth. And I'm feeling my back as if it had as many segments as a caterpillar. That top segment, which is represented by my head, is going to lengthen up and just nod off a little bit into the forward space. And then it's going to keep rolling forward as if it could curl in on itself until I'm rolling all the way down and hanging off of my legs. Just let yourself hang at the bottom, breathe, and feel the warmth of the sun melting and opening the back of the body. To come up, Shift your weight gently towards your heels, soften behind the knees, and let your hips slide underneath you as your spine stacks one vertebra at a time all the way back up to vertical. And then again, let the heads gently nod forward. This time we're going to roll just halfway down, letting a soft space stay behind the knees and then come up, stacking the spine from bottom to top. So let's do that full pattern one more time, letting the head nod forward, staying relaxed in the base of the throat, and just letting that warm sun melt the back, opening all of the spaces between each vertebra until you're hanging gently forward. And then letting the weight shift back slightly towards the heels and unfolding the spine, stacking up from the bottom all the way until the head floats up to the top. And you might even imagine that there are many more segments unfolding even higher above your head. Let's do that one more time, just letting the head nod forward, rolling all the way down, softening, melting, opening, until you're hanging, and then letting the weight shift back to the heels, and stacking up from the bottom all the way to the top. Let's do one more that goes just halfway down, feeling a little lift behind the ears as the head nods forward. Again, keeping a soft space behind the knees, even if you're only folding halfway. And then unfolding, stacking the spine all the way back up and feeling that line continue above your head 
until your spine feels as long and tall as this beautiful tree. And then we can also practice the caterpillar with a little bit of music underneath it.
Thank you so much for exploring the caterpillar technique with me today. I hope you feel tall and aligned. If you're interested in more movement, you can follow me on Instagram at Duncan Dance South or uh, contact me via my website, DuncanDanceSouth.org. I teach regular movement classes every week on Zoom.